Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to my Waffle Square, where I obsess about things and you get to benefit from it. So in episode 10 of our ongoing series where we are refurbishing this 2006 Land Rover LR3 with the V8 petrol engine, we are going to be using the gap diagnostic tool to reprogram the new remotes that we got for this vehicle. So the buttons on the one and only key slash remote that we got when we bought this vehicle don't function at all. They are broken on the circuit board itself. And we've been driving this vehicle, resetting the adaptations on the transmission, testing out the heater core flush. And every time I stop somewhere to get a coffee, I'm having to lock the door and then pop that little cap off the driver's side with the key and open it up. I mean, it's just, it's, it's become a thing. So when I originally bought this gap diagnostic diagnostics tool, which is an OBD reader specifically for Land Rovers and Jaguars, I got it off of eBay and I'll leave a link to it. And as you can see here, it came with one key. Well, one key is not good enough for our family. So I went on eBay again and bought two more keys that were specifically within our year range. Now the keys that I purchased come completely blank. So I had to call up a local locksmith. And in our case, I called Vitali from Prime Locksmith and he was fantastic. He showed up to the house in his van and he had this awesome small machine called the Triton Automatic Key Cutting Machine. And we tested it right here on the premise to make sure it would work in the doors and in the ignition. Now it's time to use the gap diagnostic tool to program the remote itself. And there's a very specific procedure for that. And when you go into the gap diagnostic tool and you press on program keys, the first thing you see is this warning sign that says, read the manual first. So I did. I went on to gap diagnostics webpage. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. And on page 120 of the gap tool manual, it talks about programming keys. Now there's a couple different variants of how you program the keys depending on your vehicle's year. We have a 2006, so we are gonna be using this one right here. And the first thing it recommends is that you have the vehicle hooked up to a battery supply or trickle charger. And I have this one right here hooked up to it whenever we're not driving it as recommended by one of our viewers. I have the gap diagnostic tool plugged in in the OBD port, so let's put the key in. We'll turn it to the first link here so we can get the tool fired up. All right, this is a live view. You're seeing what I'm seeing. So we go to service test. We go to the second one, BCM body control, program keys. And as you can see, there's that scary little thing. Read the manual first. Well, we've done that. Each key is programmed at position one. That's position one of the ignition. Continue. When completed, turn last key at position two. So let's continue. Program all keys, including new ones. Yes. Turn key to position one, programming key key programmed. Insert next key or turn ignition on. So that was the key that came with it. Now let's put in the next one. Waiting for next key or oh, immediately programming key, key programmed, insert next key. This is going quick. Programming key, Routine started, waiting completion, key programmed. Insert next key or turn the ignition on. Here goes our final key. Programming key, routine started, key programmed. Turn ignition on since this is our last one. Operation succeed. Well, all right. Well, there we go. All three of our keys are programmed, so let's test them out. There's one. That 
Let me quit working. Maybe this one needs to be charged. There we go. And there we have it. So if you found this video helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps the algorithms to start suggesting it to more viewers like you. Also, please consider subscribing. We're working really hard to put out good quality content. There's a lot more videos to come on this vehicle, like this, our next one. In episode 11, this hood insulation pad with all this staining is coming out, getting cleaned, and probably painted. So until then, thank you for watching. the actual little buttons on the circuit board are broken. They do not work. How is that possible? I know I turned that off.